Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I'm making a delicious okra stew, king bobo guisado, or king bobo alo cubano. Um, this dish originated in Africa and has made its way throughout the years uh, through the slave trade uh, to the Caribbean, to Cuba, to, and Puerto Rico, and, and different islands like that. So um, tonight I'm going to tell you what I'm using to make this. Now this dish changes up depending on who's cooking it, but um, the main ingredient is okra. I'm using a half of a, a green pepper, half of a red pepper. I'm using one medium um, red onion, one boniato, uh, sweet potato. I'm using um, one uh, plantain. I'm using corn, but I'm gonna uh, peel it down, not peel it down, but grind it down. I'm using parsley and cilantro. Um, I'm also using one pack of beef broth, one bay leaf. I'm using uh, tomato sauce, a whole can. I'm using, um, for dry seasoning, cumin, oregano, black pepper, onion powder, and complete seasoning, or sazón completa. In addition to the ingredients that I mentioned, I'm also using a half a glass of red wine, and I'm using um, two limes, and I'm using the juice of the limes. Now I'm cleaning the meat with vinegar and um, afterwards I'm going to set it to the side and I'm going to season it up to use it for later. Okay, so I'm going to set this at saute mode and I'm going to start frying up the, um, the peppers and the onions and garlic. If you guys can see this. Do you see this garlic? This is called elephant garlic. This is like one of the largest garlics I've ever seen. And um, my father told me to have this in Florida. And then, um, so, um, I guess that's where it came from. But anyway, let's see. I don't know if I can do this. I normally, uh, let's see. I break the skin off of it. I don't know. It did. Oh, it worked. Oh my goodness! Look at this garlic. It's huge. I've never. This looks like an onion. <laughs> it looks just like an onion. This. I don't even need. This is like uh four garlic cloves. Okay, so now I'm adding in the garlic. And the parsley and the cilantro I left basically whole. I just chopped off the ends of them because it didn't really make any sense to chop them up into little pieces, you know. So I just left them like that because they're going in stew anyway. I'm gonna take out the uh, sofrito that I just fried up and I'm gonna set it in a dish aside until after um, I fry the uh, beef up and then I'm gonna add it back into the pot with the beef. So I'm just seasoning up the meat so I can get ready to fry it. Okay, so I'm gonna add the beef. So I'm gonna fry up the beef, and then once it's um, brown on both sides, I'm gonna add in the sofrito bag and the other vegetables. This is 
is already smelling delicious and I'm not even done yet. Okay, so I'm gonna add the tomato sauce and then I'm gonna add the rest of the um, vegetables and also the wine. I'm gonna add some more seasoning to this. Um, the seasoning that I added before was just for the meat um, so that the meat could have flavor. So now I'm gonna add the um, seasoning to the stew itself. So um, I'm just eyeballing it so I can't even tell you how much I am adding to it. So, you know, it's just, um, I'm just playing it by ear. I'm gonna add the sesame completo. Black pepper. Some oregano. And I'm just gonna taste it as I go because um, I don't know uh, how it's gonna taste until I finish uh, adding all the seasoning. And lastly, I'm gonna add onion powder. All right, so I'm gonna put some wine in here. I didn't mention that when I was giving the ingredients uh, earlier, but I'm gonna put some red wine. Okay, so now I'm going to add um, the water and uh, everybody makes this different, so, you know, this is my stew, so I'm making it the way I want it. Now I'm going to add the carrots and next I'm going to add the bonyatbo, the uh, sweet potato. Next, I'm going to add the plantains. Next, I'm going to add one pack of beef broth. I'm going to add two cups of water, and I'm going to add a half a glass of red wine. I'm going to add a bay leaf. And I'm going to let this cook down. So I'm going to set my, uh, my uh, timer uh, for 30 minutes. Send this for 30 minutes. Now I'm just washing my rice and um, I'm going to uh, cook the rice in, a, in the rice cooker. So that will be pretty quick. Now I'm going to cook uh, two cups of rice and I'm adding two cups of water. And I'm going to add some oil and a little salt to it. Well guys, dinner is finally served. And with this, I made um, a tomato salad and um, I have um, tostones on the side because I didn't want to put the tostones inside the uh, soup. So I just put it on the side. Well guys, thank you again for taking the time out to watch my video. Please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Have a good night, God bless, bye bye.